All right, good morning. Good morning, everybody. Can you believe it? First of all, it is September. <laughs> it's September. Let's just take a deep breath there that it's like, whoa, what a wild um, couple couple of months we've been on this beautiful journey through the artist's way. And today is our kind of our celebration day. So we can definitely talk about chapter 12, um, you know, the tasks and um, <clears throat> the tasks, the essays, we're covering a sense of faith is what it's all about. <clears throat> I love, <clears throat> I love the opening quote, adventures don't begin until you get into the forest. The first step is an act of faith. So it's all about faith and like, what are we going to do now, right? Like now what, now what? Um, and then there is this created creativity contract and then the epilogue and just all kinds of, all kinds of juicy stuff. So let's just, let's just get this party started with a little bit of a, uh, it could be either a check-in of this last week. Uh, week 12, like going through week 12, or a check-in, an overall check-in um, of what this journey has been. So I don't know if that's too much or... Uh, <laughs> it's a lot. It's both, right? It's like, yeah. Please. Yeah. So who is, who's had their coffee and is ready to, to go this morning? <laughs> Okay. I'll okay. go. It's <laughs> fitting that Chatty Cathy goes first on the last one. Um, I liked the tasks in the entire book. Mm. It made me uh, take a really, really deep look at myself and that I've been the problem, that I've gotten in the way, or that I've allowed a lot of people pleasing skills Um into I need to shove those they're they're starting to go further into the darkness as in the in a good way like yeah. they're not they're not gonna I'm learning to tame them down we'll put yeah. it that way we'll um, recognize them too that they're that, that like that's yeah. a big part like just it like oh this is this is a thing I've been doing yeah. this was yeah. a thing that, that's how we all were our whole family so yeah we're all really good at it and uh, still to this day, the guilt comes in from certain family members and I get sucked right back into it. And then I, mm. luckily I don't live in the same state with a lot of them. So I, <laughs> so I can, you can distance yourself somewhat. <laughs> Oops, sorry. It's disconnected. Click. Yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I'm, yeah. I'm in a bad zone. <laughs> yeah. 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 But, um, this chapter, I was really sad to see this end. Like that's mm. what I basically wrote in mm. um, when it was the one of the questions was, you know, write down what this means, what you're feeling, or whatever at the end of all this. And I mean, I'm paraphrasing, but I, I was telling Kim, I don't know why, but I didn't read the. This isn't like me because normally Monday I read the whole thing, mm -hmm. and I didn't. And Tuesday I didn't. Wednesday I didn't. Oh, interesting. And so. I realized, oh, I'm avoiding it because I don't want it to end. Right. If I read the and end, so, then it's the end. <laughs> yeah. so, so, I listened so to so her, so. you know, I listened to it. And then I did that thing where I feel like, what did I just listen yeah. to? Because I wasn't really paying attention. Yeah. So I got the book out. I listened again. I highlighted things that she was saying, like I did at the beginning that really helped stick it with me. Um, but a lot of the stuff where it's asking, like what I changed about myself it's been really nice because I feel the change, but then I think people are also seeing the change because um, like my kid, I'm just calm and I'm not um, always trying to dissect and figure out what everybody's saying. I'm just taking uh, their word as it is. And if it's any different, it's on them to tell me, not for mm -hmm. me to figure out what they mean by, you know, the things that they're yeah. little passive aggressive things it's like nope that's not on me and I took a lot of everything the kids did everything the family did everything Phil did personally if they were having a really shitty morning and you know like last week Katie forgot her keys and she was stressed and there was this and there's that yeah and I went to okay what do I do to fix it and I couldn't I just said how can I help you and she's like you can't I've got it and I said okay so I backed off normally I would be in 
in the like, frantic pacing yeah. with her, like looking all yeah. over, turning over cushions. Wow. Yeah. That's what and you that, said. A couple of things, like there was also not taking it personally. And I know that you've been spurred on to read the four agreements, which is part yeah. of that. Um, yeah. And then, yeah, that's really, that is really powerful, Mare. Yeah, I think so too. And I think this, the, what she has us doing with the writing and finally getting to like real three pages at the end of all this, I'm finally <laughs> doing real three, three pages um, in a row. Cause I kind of <laughs> like, you know, yeah. stretch out. <laughs> yeah. Remember that's why I said that first day is like your, your hand yeah. is probably yeah. going to experience some, some pain. Yeah. And I feel like I'm writing, um, to myself, but I also, I start out in the beginning to my higher power, writing to that particular energy. Then I kind of write to Cece and then I write basically to myself mm. and I'm trying to end it with, I open it with gratitude. I end it with affirmations. And oh. so like yesterday when like I- Like your morning pages, you do that? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I And then my morning pages, I started out with the gratitude first because- and I notice now, if I don't do my morning pages, I'm cranky. Wow. I'm 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 not centered. I'm I don't feel like I know what I'm doing for the day. Yeah, I'm just all over the place. Well, and, and I just right want to like it's so powerful, especially because I know the power of your mind. You are a ten of clubs person, and it just doesn't stop in there. Like you have just an incredible amount of ideas, and you're always thinking. And so it is. It's like cheap therapy where it's just, mm -hmm. just getting some of that out because it, otherwise it just, it'll just spin in there. It just, yeah. just goes and it goes and it goes and it can keep, keep you up at night. And so, mm -hmm. um, I love that, that you have seen like, and felt the effect of what it does and how it just can bring a sense of calm, which is, you don't think that like, you couldn't say, I couldn't have said that at week one is like, this is going to, you know, calm your mind. It becomes, but it is like a, it's a, it's a written meditation, but mm -hmm. I love what you have done with it to, to take the gratitude and then to move to affirmations. That is just, that's just such a powerful spiritual practice that we can all do. I mean, gratitude and affirming, visualizing daily, mm -hmm. like the amount, like what that, how that swings our momentum and it has, it, wow. at, at, even the little thing about when we, I used to panic about money all the time. I always had this lack, 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 lack in my, oh yeah, like the little Aflac duck was always <laughs> yeah. lack, lack, lack all the time. <laughs> and now it's like money flows to me effortlessly money. And then I told Phil, he's like, we don't, I go, no, we do. And he goes, yeah, money flows to me. Effortlessly. Oh, <laughs> I love that you see it like in, you know, permeating in your home and that you have such a supportive man on your side, like who's, mm -hmm. who's in it with you and wanting to like learn and, and, and he's noticing it, right? Like yeah. that's how we affect change. We, we work on ourselves and then allow that to ripple out. And that's really, really the power of this book. Cause it's just always going to hold you accountable yeah. to non-productive fun <laughs> and also to yeah. creativity for creativity's sake not for the outcome and um right that's yeah. exactly what I and and he's happier mm. because I'm not he was always trying to figure out why I was so stressed out or why and, and fix me fix that fix mm. that situation be my knight in shining armor now it's like mm -hmm. let's figure this out together so it's really and that's exactly what it is the creating now that's changed in me. When I first started oh, yeah. making something, it was always, I have to sell this because I have to make the money so that I can do this. And then to I justify like it. it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Just now it's, I'm just going to create something. And if someone buys it, they do. If they don't, I don't care. I had a great time, you know, and just I'm connecting to my God that way. Yeah. And that's really, that's all to her. Dude. That's all Julia's way of yay julia thank you mm -hmm. so much i know right and she's just such a testament too of like what would happen if we didn't share our gifts what would happen if she did not put this this course that she had been teaching in new york and if she didn't get the urge to put it into print for all mm -hmm. of us you know and it's yeah i have the 25th anniversary edition so just all yeah. the lives that have been touched just all Love of them little... yes but yeah. I rebought the 30th anniversary. So it's been oh, around 30. a while. 
Holy mm. moly. Yeah. And the 30th came with the, like the morning pages book. Yeah. No, no. I just got the book. Did you use it? Uh, I just got this. Yeah. I just read this. Gotcha. I didn't get a workbook. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Looks like we lost. So that's his eye. Okay. Which is my. We're good. That's it. That's awesome. That's all I have. Yay. <laughs> let's celebrate. Yay. There. What you, a Jill. journey from June 1st to September 1st. And that's powerful also just to see how much with like a focused attention. It's just three months. It's a blip. Feels like maybe when you're in week eight, seven, you're like, oh my gosh, <laughs> oh my gosh, here, here we go again. Or it's, or, you know, we fall off, but then you just see like, oh, okay. and I want to do it again. The next time you have it, I want to do it again, just to keep unpacking. Cause I feel like there's yeah. so much more. Yeah. Well, the first time I read it, I read it back to back. I think I was in the same place you were. I read it. Uh, I started it in February, February, March, eight, you know, and then I think that was the first summer that I did it was like, I wanted to do it with a group of people. I read mm -hmm. it by myself. And then I was like, this is, there's something here. And um, I didn't know what it was, but now it's just become my summer, summer thing to mm -hmm. remind myself of all, of all the things. Cause um yeah. Yeah. It was, I liked the exercise where she said, go back and read the core negative beliefs. Ooh. And I had highlighted three and then I went, I just instantly without really having to think about it came up with a positive twist to each one and, and how, what I'm doing now in my daily practice to not let those negative beliefs and that it's all in us. She kept saying it's in us to know, we know what to do. We say we don't know what to do, but we do. And it's true. That's what this book reminds you of is, mm. you know, what to do. Yeah. You know, you yeah. know, all these things. Yeah. So, and in the last three months, I went down a bunch of weight. So I've already like, oh. I've been wanting to, before we get on the plane, my big fear is, you know, I'm not going to yeah. get that buckle around me. Mm. And so, um, since we started, I've gone down at least 15 pounds. Yes. And it's because wow of that kind of thinking like holding yourself in more of a of a what did she say you treat yourself like a, the mm. goddess you are and you, you yes. know you become stronger it's it's that it's that whole mentality of, well and then when you start doing what you love too you you see that that it plays out like you're like mm -hmm. you're walking more like you're going out and being in nature more and it just and you're feeding your soul in a different in a different way that allows um yeah that it just you're, you're starting to experience what it feels like to really be in a loving mm -hmm. self-loving flow and that's amazing. And then it's not like, it's not diet and, and this and that, and I have to do this right. and I'm counting my calories. It's like, I'm just living a life that I love to live. And it yeah. feels, this is what feels good. And I'm going to do more of it because Julia told me to. <laughs> and, Julia told me to you. And, and CC deserves it. So that's what I'm doing. Yeah. 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 I yeah. love that. I love, love, love that. So much celebration for you. And this is just the beginning. Mm -hmm. Yes, ma'am. Feels like an ending, but it's just the beginning. Yep. Who else wants to share? I could speak up so yes, I can thank can. Mayor real quick. I want to, uh, everything you share and you go through helps all of us. You know that, right? <laughs> you know that? Because <laughs> we all have that those little pieces mm -hmm. in us and that maybe we weren't brave enough to say out loud. Mm -hmm. And you were very brave. So True. it sounds True. condescending, but I'm proud of you, Mayor. I love you. Thank you. I Aww. love you. Yeah. I'm grateful for you because you brought me here. Yeah. <laughs> right. Yeah. And we found, I think we, the first time we met um, Andrea, we were together, weren't we? Yeah, we were. We mm -hmm. went to the sanctuary, the salt sanctuary, and met you. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. 
I know for I mean, we were together. Isn't that interesting? That is what yeah. yeah, it is interesting how all this how we found you. Right. And and the Salt Sanctuary is one of those things. I was on an artist date and I really? and that's when I stumbled across it and was like, yeah. what's this place? And I just walked in there. I'm like, I lead moon circles. I can, you know, like, <laughs> like where did that come from? I don't know. Hey, but, right. Cool. Yeah. Very cool. Yeah, but, yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, this chapter was strong for me. The test yeah. was big because I I get to right to the place of success and then I will sabotage it. I'll uh, uh, give that person another try. Maybe in a relationship, I'll give that person another try. Mm. We talked about that a little bit. Yes. Um, but uh, not going to do that again. You know, you have to recognize, uh, you know, the blocks that keep you blocked. So I, I'm going to be better about that. And it's a test in, in many things. Like when you get to uh, the just the right place to uh, step over the line and be like super successful, get accomplished yeah. what you want to get accomplished. Yeah. And then you go, oh, you need help. I'll help you. Oh my gosh. Right? <laughs> yes. Yes. <laughs> we have to recognize that and not do that anymore. And and that's <laughs> such a hard block to to recognize because it is altruistic. It is helping. It's a very loving thing to do, but you don't realize that what you're doing by giving is is you're you're not, yeah. <laughs> you're not helping yourself. Or when you're on track to helping yourself, you get yeah, that that's yeah. It's a sabotage, I believe. It is. Uh, you're right there. And then, uh, and you think, oh no, it's the right thing to do. I'll help you. But it's mm -hmm. a way of shutting yourself down and keeping yeah. from getting that, reaching yeah. that far. Yeah. Wow. Uh, and then I got, and then the uh, imagination, you know, you have to just create to create. You can't be attached to what it's going to look like after. Right. You just you create every day, create your day, create, mm -hmm. uh, you know, your job create every moment in your life as we go through we can be creative and I really got yeah. that with this yeah 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 with that, with that statement just let uh create your own joy and be free let joy be free very powerful yeah okay. yeah. yeah yeah that is great that is and awesome then, uh, the remembering too I'm like 68 years old I've done some really cool things and I've done it and I need to review and take an inventory of all the cool things I've done. Cause I'm pretty cool. You are pretty <laughs> cool. <laughs> I have a lot to share. So I, uh, so I've been kind of in a fog and this whole uh, 12 weeks has uh, brought me out of the fog. So I'm open again, the pages. Oh, yeah. yeah. And I really noticed it says to go back and read, uh, what you wrote down as your blocks in chapter, you know, in that first week, mm -hmm. that first week, my soul was so happy and so anxious to spill out. I didn't do tasks for like the first three weeks. I was just pouring out words without thinking of anything. Yeah. yeah. So I am uh, committing to the next three months to do, keep writing and then maybe go back and do the tasks in the beginning. <laughs> well, yeah. And that's the thing is those right. tasks. I, I think it it's every summer. It's a little bit different for me on when do I do the tasks or when do I, um, when do I not? And, and who knows, it could be what's happening in our lives and stuff like that. And that's, the, that's the cool thing is that yes, this course or our time together moving through this collectively, um, has come to an end, but the book is still, it's all here. And, you know, like if ever you need like a spark or a, um, a writing prompt or an idea, or if you see something, you know, that um, like that seven deadlies that I had never done. And then to pull work and money again and again and again, I'm just like, oh, my gosh, do, 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 do. Like, like, how does it know that these are these I know. Are the things that look. I yeah. And that I feel like safe to stand behind because like you said, like helping others is like people, you know, that doesn't seem to be problematic except for when it's at the detriment of like right. continuing on your path. And, and same for me with my work is that like, 
working and being a workaholic is, um, you know, celebrated in our capitalistic society. And at the same time, like I can throw myself out of balance and into stress and I have to watch that. So, um, so tasks, whether you never, you didn't do it this, this time through, or, you know, it's your fourth read of it and you still haven't done it. Just knowing it's always, it's always there. Um, so you're talking about the three months, she's got that, um, that contract. Yeah, you make that commitment after. Yeah. So I feel my commitment to, uh, creativity contract uh, to, to, to write for 12 more weeks, every okay. morning pages every day. Mm -hmm. um little contract where is that? so it kind of puts us at the end of 2024 three months oh not quite great it does That's we can months. complete the year yeah just keep doing it right just keep doing it yeah 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 and i'm gonna make a better effort to do my weekly dates i'm gonna make it a priority isn't that interesting how hard that can become who else was it hard for? Yeah. The the weekly dates. Yeah. <laughs> Mom. I think Mama Blythe is good at it. <laughs> She's better at playing than us, I think. Hmm. Interesting. What do you what do you want to share this morning, Mama? Um can, am I unmuted? I can't you I'm are, on my yeah. phone. Okay. I, yeah. I'm not usually usually using my phone. Yeah. Um what I want to share is I've been this for the last couple of weeks and I just, I feel, I feel behind, but I feel like I've gained bits and pieces that I'm applying to my last few weeks. Um, yeah. I have not written, I have not read, I have not dated, but yet I have dated, dated, dated doing yes. things that I would never do before. So that's been Yay. Out, of, out of sight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That is exactly um, it. I feel like you just hit it on the head. Like you're, you're living it in a way you're doing like, I am just, I like, it can make me cry when I think about like this beautiful ah, road trip that you're on with Zigrid. Like what an amazing adventure. And I was, I don't remember who I was talking to, but I was just like, yeah, my mom and her friend just like went up to Yellowstone for a weekend and now are driving through California and into, you know, the, the gold country up there, um, not to Yosemite apparently. Um, and then into San Francisco and the adventures that you're going to have this weekend. And then you're going to continue on, on your own. Like, it's just like, my mom is 80 and she's fucking amazing. Right? She's <laughs> bomb. Fucking yeah. amazing. That's right. <laughs> Yeah. yeah. So I can take all those words and put them in my journal and write them down and say, oh my God, I finally did some morning pages because yeah. I haven't done it for at least three weeks. I mean, I've just had no, no yeah. spare You're living time, it. but I've had, yeah. I've had quality time. Just yeah. amazing, amazing, amazing. Lots of, lots of laughs, lots of interpretations, lots of showing, sharing. Yeah. Lots of sharing. Yeah. So, and when, and when you have like, some, like you've had a house guest and you've been traveling and that whenever routine, you know, like that's not the, the case for a, a lot of us here. I mean, there's been some travel here and there. I know when I travel, I write significantly less or like either less in quantity, or like sometimes it's a sentence, sometimes, you know, rather than three pages. So that's just part mm -hmm. of it. It's just you're out of routine. You're in some San Francisco hotel room right now. Yeah. <laughs> Right. Some hotel room somewhere. We're on somewhere. <laughs> I can't even tell you what street we're on. <laughs> we're going to tell you. Yeah. Something or other. But I just, I don't know what street we're on. And something you just said, oh, we've done well over 2,000 miles. Wow. So far. Wow. Look at you guys go. So, um, wow. That's amazing. Th that, that's you... all I can say. I mean, that's, there, there's my answer to everything that's been going on. Yes, what? Did you get on the cable I, car? That's today. That's this morning. Okay. We're going to get a bite to eat, and then we're going off to the cable car to take the cable car oh, Powell fun. Street down to the wharf, and then we're going on a red and white cruise. You uh, inspire uh, me. I have been to San Francisco maybe uh, 50 times, and I've never rode the cable car. 
I'm doing it next time I go back. You're yeah. kidding. Right? Yeah. That's insanity. Yeah. Yeah, that's going to be our, we have, <laughs> we'll be walking down to and finding Powell and whatever and Powell yeah. and Market and getting on. I mean, I know where they are, but I, I just got to get it in position from where I am. Yeah. You do such a great so. San Francisco tour uh, for people. I think it's, it uh, like Kimberly just said, like it, San, cable cars are iconic with San Francisco. That's one of, I mean, oh. there's so many things about San Francisco, but how interesting that so many people just, they just don't hop they don't on do it. it. So that you incorporate that into like, we're going to do this. Yes, and, yeah. What about Ghirardelli ice cream? <laughs> Are you going to go get some Ghirardelli? What, today's, this is what I wrote down just before. <clears throat> Excuse me, we got going. So today's Powell Street cable car, the red and white fleet, Udon, which is the sourdough at Ghirardelli, In and Out Burger, Buena Vista, and the cable car <laughs> back up and over the hill. <laughs> Oh, you girls are crazy. busy, Dan. <laughs> We're just just following the bouncing ball down the road. <laughs> oh my nice. gosh! Okay, nice. this is why you're not writing your morning pages and, and you're, you're living your morning pages. Yeah, yeah, and your and your artist dates right. It it doesn't matter. Like, like, of course, it's supposed to be solo to get us into doing what we love, and that's just not what's happening right now. But you are. Um, sharing, I mean, just a beautiful city that uh, I know is important to you. You went to school there and you, um, you know, we were um, raised up and around that area. So being able to share part of your, um, your home, like hometown in, in some, some, some ways, uh, but just like, and it's such a great city. So, right. it's wow. so iconic. She made it back. Yeah. It's iconic. Sorry. Yes. And Even all those even coming through, and my my signal is a little bad right now. Or anyway, um, coming through from the freeway for about eight blocks of ghastly, depressing, mm. homeless shit. Yeah, it was it was true. It, it it was heartbreaking. I mean, and it, and it was irritating. Yeah. Um, I'm, and I don't mean that to be. Um, it's just it's just sad that it has to be and and why something can't be done about it it's just, it was heartbreaking yeah yeah so, it is and then, and that's like going into a big city i know i feel that like when i go to portland but there's something oh, even yeah. more, i think when you go into san francisco cuz again that is home in many ways and to see your city you know it's you know the journey song about when the lights go down in the city i'm like that's my city you know that's when mm -hmm. when we talked about going to the city i i used to we used to just call it the city so it's your city too so i think it's amplified by seeing just the heartbreak of of how how it's yeah it, how, how how that's happened i mean how and why yeah. in our society yeah it's happened to the extent yeah. nope yeah. so anyway that that's our day to day wow and Tomorrow's Golden Gate Bridge in Lombard. Oh, fun. And, oh, and Fort Point under the yeah. bridge. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. So that's so great. That is. We'll, so... We will be busy. Yes. That is going to be so much fun. And you're sharing pictures and adventures on oh. Facebook. I've seen some on Zigrid's page as well. <clears throat> she has more time than I do. I'm, yes. I'm catching up. Oh, you're I, driving. I mean, yeah. 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 I, I want to do some posting on Facebook because we've, you, we're taking photos of things you wouldn't ordinarily take photos of when you see them through different eyes. Well, and I love that it. she's really yeah, kind of fun. She took a picture like inside Winco. <laughs> and it's like, we don't think about that, right? I think yeah. it's Winco where it's just like, no, this is an American. <laughs> oh, Francilla was, she's having such. She's going to do her check-in on Marco Polo. Like she can't keep her signal right now. Oh, oh, bummer. bummer. Wow. Interesting. Yeah. Good to see her for a minute. Yeah. She keeps popping on and she's been texting me. Minute, in a minute, in a minute. Yeah. So we'll have to go into our, our Marco Polo app to see. Um, I think that's where she's going to try. So, you know, we're out of Mercury retrograde, but are we? <laughs> but are we? <laughs> 
Okay. Okay. So, anyway, I'm done. I'm done. That's my that's my re report. Your whatever whatever pocket you want to put it in. Yeah, no, that's 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 a good report. Awesome. So, and this is also this isn't your first time going through the book either. So true. Although it's the one that yeah. I want to start next week, next time with chapter 12 and then 11 <laughs> and then 10 and get them respected. <laughs> oh. That's interesting. Yeah, it is. Those of us who have done it before, it'd be interesting to do that. If right. well, I just did it forward, I always, it backwards. At, at least this year I've fallen off. So. Yeah, I would say that for me, I, I I could see that as well, that chapter 11 is probably the chapter that is least highlighted for me. And I doubt it's because it hasn't resonated and it's more of that somehow that that second to last week is the one that falls off or doesn't mm. happen. Um, well, I'll, I'll consider that the back way. We'll, we'll call it <laughs> way artist the... <laughs> way artists yeah we're way artists we can do that awesome awesome um my check-in for this experience with you guys is I just I have loved um first and foremost just getting to know um Kimberly and Mare just so much better between this and everything that we're doing it's been it's been fun to um to form new friendships in this way and also to to witness growth your growth and your excitement in it and i think that that's something that i'm reminded of mm -hmm. is that when other people experience this for the first time and feel the power of her words and the practices that she um you know uh invites us into it excites that in me and um i think i really noticed because you you guys have worked so um diligently into this book and everything that's offered that it kind of reinvigorated some stuff in me again like doing some tasks that I've never done or taking the tasks a little bit more seriously or um just seeing a reflection in in my own practice about you know I've I've talked about poor Esmeralda who's been trapped inside a spiral notebook for <laughs> years and um she's she's breathing you know she's now been typed mostly not not all the way but typed into Ooh, my computer and i'm Toto starting to from me allow her to play yes no, no. celebrate that i'm just gonna mute you mama because i know you guys are feel free to move about and chat while you're i know you have a grand adventure today um i know wow so cool um but uh so so there's that and i just really feel like um experiencing, I, I feel like, wow, I'm having an emotional day today. That's okay. I'm just going to acknowledge it. We got the new moon tomorrow, all kinds of planetary shifts happening today, but I am, I am so grateful for, for the, how this work has helped me love myself and not be afraid to go do things by myself to do the things that I love by myself and to not need somebody else. Cause I, I, the first part of my life, um, was all about others. And it's really the first time that I have, um, in, and, and not just this summer, but since I was introduced to this book in 2022. So it's, I mean, it's only been like two, two and a half years. I picked it up in February of 22. I remember the date to 22, 22. Um, so, but how she has in, just really continually, every time I do this, reminded me of the importance of um, pouring into myself through the artist states and um, learning to be okay by myself. Um, it's been really powerful. And I, I, cannot, I cannot imagine where I would be without this book, it really has transformed my life. It has been one of the things that I hold so dear to um, to the person I am today, who is so happy and free from the person I was four years ago, like just four years ago um, in the summer of 2020. It was 
2020 and 2021 were some of the worst summers of my life. And, and to see where, where I've grown as a result of it. And the people that I've met, um, not just the people that do the artist way with me, but the people that you meet on your adventures and the connections and, um, just so grateful. So, so, so grateful. Yeah. Beautiful. Yeah. Love Yay, that. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. So where do we want to go from here, ladies? Hey, there's a lot of book left. What's what's the rest of it say? There's like so, a bunch of pages left. Yeah. Oh my gosh, I have this. Thank you, Julia Cameron. September 24, 2022, Santa Fe. Ah! Mm -hmm. I, it was one of the times. I, so she does a Q&A um, uh, in there. She asks, asks and answers a lot of questions. She does, um, she talks about how to do, you know, a sacred circle, which is what this is. Um mm -hmm leading people through it. Um, oh, and I have so much in there. Um, I have this on page 218. We are meant to midwife dreams for one another. We cannot labor in place of one another, but we can support the labor that each must undertake to birth his or her art and foster it into maturity. So that's what we're doing here in this circle is just supporting mm -hmm. one another and giving and knowing knowing who supports you is really powerful and who can you share dreams with and and she's done that and so many tasks to recognize like i have identified some people that s surprise me that they are um I want to say dream crushers, but that feels really too harsh but in in some ways especially when you're an in infancy of a dream Mm -hmm. And they just throw all that practicality on it. <laughs> like, mm -hmm. I'm just dreaming here. I'm just dreaming or being creative and how that can quickly block us. So knowing who are our people. Um, yeah. Good morning, Zigrid. <laughs> Guten Morgen. Guten Morgen. Good morning. <laughs> <laughs> or Morgan. <laughs> um so a lot of it is, is, is that it's just, um, questions and answers and how to do, how to host a, a, a circle like this, um, creative clusters, she calls them. And then I think there are also, um, what else is way back? Nice. I'll continue yeah. on. Is that in the recording too? Does somebody it read is. that? Okay, it good. Is. Cause I yeah. like, I liked listening to it and then reading it and then, you know, writing it in the yeah in the boundaries you know and then oh my gosh and there's a reading list and all kinds of nice. all kinds of juicy stuff so yes yeah, so there is more you know if, if you're like wait now what you can yeah read that and that's what i've i've done um mm -hmm. looking at that creativity contract on page uh -huh. last page 202 um I've chosen you guys as my creative colleagues. Yay. Yes. Same. Me too. And, and as my too. creative backup, because there's going to be times. And I think I was just expressing uh, Mara and Kim to you guys. I'm like, I don't, I'm, I'm, I'm in like a little bit of a drought this, this week. I don't know how or what to say, how to move forward. And then we got together and it was like, boom, you need to talk about this. Like, what is the Magi? What is like, why does it matter? And like getting focused on, like there's over the course of the summer, there's been a whole redirect on how to focus in on my creativity. And um, so um, she does say here, like I am committed to a weekly phone check-in. We can leave um, the Artist Way group open um, in, in Marco Polo. I think anytime I, I'm like, I'm not going to delete that group. I think that that is a great way to just remember okay, I will, and, I will and participate in marco polo yeah in my contract <laughs> what's that i will participate you're gonna put it in your contract i will participate in marco i will show my face or you know <laughs> what was that what was that the hot guy that you, you turned into man bun i call man him man bun. bun man bun man uh -huh. oh my god yeah. 
I'll tell you what, I watched that with no sound and I'm watching this thing. I'm like, damn. <laughs> yeah. Your new, it's like your new character that you're creating. Like, it's oh my totally, God, it it is. You. It like, is. You totally pulled it off with talk too. I'm not going to kill him off either. All <laughs> this, right. This Good. one will be a keeper. Yeah. <laughs> a keeper. Yes. I love it. I love it. Um, yeah. What else did she say here? Well, um, I'm good. Yeah. What are my notes here? My specific commitment for the next, what's that? Oh, go ahead. Go ahead. I was looking. Oh, my specific commitment for the next 90 days is to allow myself to more fully explore what? I said watercolor classes, but I don't know if it's I think that's because I'm a, yeah, watercolor classes. I need to actually get in front of a teacher and teach me how to do it so that I don't let the fear of screwing something up mm. or not having the right. Oh yeah, yeah. no, that's, that's I want right. to learn more tools. Mm -hmm. But the next 90 days, I think I full uh, more fully explore. And in, in addition to the watercolor classes, that's like whatever, but yeah. Um, uh, just the, maybe not explore, but shine a light on the dark parts that I keep trying to hide from everybody. Mm. Like just allowing myself to be more open and I become more open, but I'm also still get really guarded because you, this is the longest group of women that I've been in contact with in forever because I don't really have a lot of trust for the female persuasion mm -hmm. but I'm getting there because of you guys I love um, that. so maybe the exploring more of my um uh, just trusting that you guys aren't going to go anywhere that everybody's right. gonna yeah oh that's huge that's really good mm -hmm. I'm gonna read the sentence again and let uh, Kimberly and, and mom reflect on this and mom, again, you are, I, I muted you cause I can tell like, and it's fine. I'm just going to, if you guys are chatting, I, I muted you, but you can unmute. Um, while I, okay. my specific commitment for the next 90 days is to allow myself to more fully explore what. Hmm. Hmm. I'm doing, I wrote art too, the, like artist guild. I don't know if it's here or join somebody else's, but it might be nice to have just an artist guild that meets once a month here and Ooh. you can sit in the, next to a tree and write, or you can sit, you know, next to the pond and paint or meditate. There's is a special uh, meditation walk that is called Blythe's path and it's Blythe's path because that one time we met here what mm -hmm. is we go for our meditation our little break and Blythe goes right in to the trees and the bushes and walks around well there's a path with your name on it now Blythe you'll have to <laughs> it's a clear wow. path yeah. it's it's and very I loved beautiful. every second of that oh my gosh yeah oh, and wow. then when you get uh to the end it's not a long path but when you get to the end of the path there's two chairs and a little lotus bench and oh, a place lovely. to reflect. Yeah, mm -hmm. so a, a good quiet walk, a uh, quiet meditation walk. Mm, that's really so lovely. I see that. Yeah. Wow. So, and then inspirational art, I think I'll lean towards uh, where you can zone in and meditate and and get that instant peace. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm going to focus on that. Oh, I love that. That's I love my that joy. Yeah. yeah. Be more joy. If it's yeah. possible for Kimberly to be more joyful. Always room for more joy. Always. Right? Yes. Yes. Lovely. Mom, what about you? The next 90 days to allow myself to more fully explore. And it's a very open-ended question. So it yeah. is. Yeah, I'm I might just say me because I do keep myself internal a lot mm -hmm. and and through this last I'd say this last year I have externalized a lot more than I used to 
And I used to just be my own, my own. And, yeah. and, and you guys, I mean, this group, Madame Andrea, uh, <laughs> could not be better. I mean, just yeah. Mare and Kimber. And, and then we got Priscilla off in the yonder wild blue. I mean, it's just, it, it's just, it's amazing. I mean, it's so comfortable and it's so fun and yeah. it's so um, rewarding that I just, I just want to keep, keep going with this and, and just l loosen myself up. And I, I mean, I have fun. I, I teach my classes. I don't need to go into any more classes. I just need to enjoy what I'm doing, which I do do totally. I totally enjoy yeah. what I'm up to. Um, maybe that. explore that person I live with a little bit more and get a little more um, yeah. There's that energy out of, of that, that person. Of yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's working but, from there. So, yeah, take a, mm. any buzzwords you have for your man might be nice, you know, if you can get him to open up and talk. We, get, we will see. We will see. <laughs> that, will, that will be that will be a, a task, a chore, and and a, and it will be rewarding, and it'll be worth it. Yeah. So mm -hmm. that's 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 me. That's awesome. Mm -hmm. That's awesome. I. I don't, I wrote my creativity contract, um, whenever I wrote in green, <laughs> I don't know what year, um, I didn't actually sign and date and I didn't actually do the last two paragraphs, but what I said that I was going to explore more, more fully was my unique voice. And so I think it's similar mom, like, like, like explore who, who am I? Like, what is my voice? And I think, my voice, I, I mean, not, I think I know, um, my voice was silenced during my marriage in many ways. Um, and I came out of that feeling so, um, insecure with, um, my self-expression. And so again, the artist way has helped me to articulate my voice, um, to share my voice and, um, to have fun doing it. Um, but as we were sitting here talking, I also, um, I am carrying a pink pen and I'm drinking out of this mug and I'm <laughs> on a lovely adventure today. And I wrote, um, love, I'm going to allow myself to more fully explore love. And I, I wrote that. And so I'm just going to honor what I, what that may be be um clearly there is something inside of me that is ready to explore love like love <laughs> <laughs> and i Yay. love that yeah julia cameron maybe led me to somebody who can participate in that with me to be determined <laughs> yes julia cameron cameron have uh retreats because if she does or can Let's we just go them. camp outside of her house? Oh my gosh. When I was in Santa Fe, when I, when I, uh, whatever year that was, when did I sign that there? Was that 20? Yeah. 2022. I kept telling that to my friend, but they, none of them, well, Sari had done the artist way with me in her own way. Like she couldn't, she didn't fully commit to it. it was, it was not nearly what, what this is. She kind of, um, dappled I had a couple of friends who dappled with it and and she was one of them that was with me but the other two that I traveled to Santa Fe with were not and I just kept saying because I think she lives in Santa Fe that mm -hmm. I'm gonna find yeah. her and um like have coffee <laughs> with Julia Cameron but I think that she does do um that she does so it's just a matter of finding them out or, or teaches a class or a workshop or workshop. Probably um, that would be available. amazing. Um, Follow I would, her on Instagram. If you're not go oh find her God. on Instagram because she, she is awesome. She'll give you a little weekly. Good. Okay. Yeah. I will look that up. Is it just Julia Cameron or is it the artist way? Yep. Nope. Just Julia Cameron. And it says Santa Fe, New Mexico. So that's where she's oh, living. Yeah. yeah. That's on my bucket list. Santa Fe is? Yeah. I think we should make a road trip with some signs and some Julia heads on our shirts. <laughs> and like Field trip! Art, artists way, like picket signs where we just walk around. It, and we have like, thank you, Julia. And oh it's my artist God. community, right? Well, it's, that's 
Julia, yeah. I'm looking for her right now. Julia Cameron. Julia Cameron. While um, you're doing that, I will okay. show you. I made my little God jar last night. Oh, your night. God jar. And he sat there and played with tape and pens and whatever. Fire. And I'm using it because it's, yeah. Insecurities about the trip keep popping up. So I write it in there and give it to God. You know, I have to say one prop that gotcha. Phil gave me, which was really, it's, it's, he said, I said something, he goes, I said, do you think I've changed? He's like, babe. And then he told me all the ways and he goes, you're going out of the country. Mm. You're going out of the country. And I'm like, I am, oh my God, I am. <laughs> and now I, know, like I, I went and bought a bunch of little travel size stuff and he goes, are you going to, are you going somewhere? Like he's now messing with me. Like I'm Aww. like, I'm going out of the country. He's like, yeah, you are. Oh so, my God. So like, cute. I yeah. love that. Cause when have you, when was the last time you went out of the country? Have you been? I never out? have. I've never been out of the country in my whole life. Ever. No way. Ever. Either has he. And our big thing was we're going to go to, we're going to, um, he, he loves Switzerland. So, and I want to go to Scotland where my family is from so I said you know your 60th birthday we'll do it but I've we kept putting it off and putting it off and putting it off <laughs> goosebumps like all over my body right now I I knew that saying yes to the adventure to Teotihuacan was was a big deal I don't mm -hmm. think I understood that you had never traveled outside of the United States <laughs> so no this is my first time getting a oh yeah look and I Oh Thanks to Timu, I got this cute little book oh. to hold my passport. For your passport. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh my yeah. goodness. Oh my goodness. Yeah. It's going to you know, I was so worried that he would be upset that I wanted to go. And he was, it's just me selling him short because he was, he was telling people, yeah, she's going out of the country. And I thought, is that upsetting you because you're not? He's like, no. He goes, I didn't think you'd be the first, but I, I'm really proud of you for going. And that is, uh, that is so fantastic. And isn't it interesting how, like, that's a, sto a story that we can tell ourselves real quickly is that he's not going to support this, or he's going to be jealous, or I should be doing this with him for the first time. And instead he's right. like, go babe, yeah. go have fun. Yeah. I'm not supporting you all the way. And I would say that mom Russell is very much like that. And, you know, in, in some aspects, I know that you guys have done quite a bit of traveling together, but in, in terms of this adventure with, with Zigrid was go, go and explore. And that's, it's not for him. And so whether or not he knows it, doesn't know it, but intentional, unintentional, the fact that you and Zigrid are having, I just love it. I, I I see it like Thelma and Louise in some ways, minus like the whole <laughs> ending of the movie. And, but just like these two women just going off on an, an adventure at, you know, I just, I think it's so great. And I think that, you know, Russ is very happy for you as well, that you he are, is. He is. you are being you and you're honoring you. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> on that chest yes <laughs> yes awesome awesome nice. well yeah. anybody else want to share something before we wrap up this call and head off into our labor day weekend our labor adventure? day let's see i think we asked i think i i got to say everything i wanted to say i appreciate you guys Mm -hmm. uh, I like the going to Marco Polo and keeping track of each other thing, the check-in. Yeah. 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 yeah because yeah. especially, you know, for the next 90 days, there is this invitation to continue on, just, just keep doing the practices a little bit more and maybe go dip back into some of those tasks. Maybe not. Maybe, you know, mom, you could read chapter 12, 11, 10, you know, like you could do whatever you want, but just the more important thing here is that commitment to yourself to continue to allow, um, I, the, the words that are resonating with me the most strongly, and this is the first time it's ever been this way are the words unproductive fun. 
that word unproductive in front of the word fun is, is challenging me in lots of ways because I, um, I like Mayor, like you said, you're like, no, you're having productive fun. Like that's cause I could <laughs> get on myself. I'm like, Oh, I'm still working. So I, I do a lot of productive fun. I'm really trying to do unproductive fun where it's like, not everything in my life needs to be um, shared or for, for some purpose besides just feeding my soul. So, mm -hmm. yeah. Thank you for saying that out loud. I mm. needed to hear that. Yeah. Yes, I right. don't have to be productive every minute. Mm -hmm. Right. You can just play. You could just play. Yeah. We're playing sick for no other reason than to spark a little joy and remember that we yes. are designed as creative beings in an ever expansive universe. And when we're in those low vibe states, it's because we have disconnected with our higher sense of creativity and our spiritual being that knows that life is, is but a blip. It's short. Mm -hmm. It is meant to be enjoyed. Absolutely. Thank you, Julia Cameron. Yeah. I like where she's still ending in the closing. She said, you're either losing your mind or gaining your soul. Life is meant to be an artist date. Oh, That's why we so were created. Like that needs to go on our wall at the office, Kimberly. Life is meant it's to be an artist. Girl on there. Life I, is meant to be an artist date. It is. Yeah. It is. Because it is the journey to self-love and joy. Mm -hmm and freedom, authenticity. Yep. Creating each right. moment. All right. Well, yeah. Yeah. Love I, you guys. Love you love too. You I've loved our time together and we'll just continue on in our Marco Polo app. And, um, you know, this is just the beginning. So, right. Yeah. And we, the four of us get to see each other on the, on the, our Mondays. Seem yes. to be Wednesdays too. Yep. Uh, so, yeah. and then we have a grand adventure that we're all going on in a couple of weeks. We are. <laughs> oh, my, oh my gosh. We're all kind yeah. of sentimental, right? We don't want to. <laughs> yeah. Don't want to go. Yeah. I found a really girls. good. I found a really good YouTube, by the way, for learning yeah. Spanish. So I've got what. Four, three weeks, two weeks. Three weeks. We begin. Maybe share that with us. I gotta yeah. Yeah. intensive. Please share yes. that. Awesome. Well, yay. Bye, bye. All okay. right. Love you. Have oh. a great day in San Francisco today, adventuring mama and the rest of you. Have we'll a do. I'll do. Okay. All right. Love you. Bye. Check, check Facebook now and then. Bye, okay. y'all. Love will. you. All right. Love bye. you all. Bye. Bye. Oh, and Sigrid, Sigrid says bye bye. Love you too. Be the same. Bye bye. <laughs> bye.